Hi, my name is Brandon with SalesPad, and this is a short video on the customer card. The SalesPad customer card provides a complete view of information regarding the customer and the customer's sales transactions, including addresses, contacts, open and historical sales documents, and CRM data. Sales documents can also be created from the customer card. To start off, search for a customer in the customer search module. Once you have the customer you're looking for, you can click on the blue hyperlink for the customer number, and that will open up the corresponding customer card. As you can see, the customer card is broken down into two main sections. At the top, we have the header, and at the bottom, we have the tab section. Inside the header, we have customer properties, which includes information such as the customer number, customer name, customer class, price level, payment terms, and the sales rep. Next to customer properties, we have their primary address information, as well as the default shipping information. The header also includes the open sales documents section, which shows all currently open documents for the specific customer. From here, we can use the auto filter row to look for a specific document that we may be wanting. Once you find the document you're searching for, you can click on the blue document number hyperlink, and that will open up the appropriate document for you. The header is also where you would create a new document. Up top, we have the different buttons for the different sales document types, and if we drill down into one, it will show us our IDs for the specific document type. If I want to create a new order, I just select the drop down and select the order type that I want to create. From there, the sales document order entry window will appear. Along with creating new sales documents and viewing existing ones, we can print customer AR statements, as well as clicking the Dynamics GP button, which will open the customer card in Dynamics GP. In the tabs section, we have various tabs that contain different information about the customer. The first tab is the contact addresses. From here, you can create a new address, mark existing addresses as primary, shipping, billing, or statement addresses. You can also drill into existing addresses by double-clicking on the address or by clicking on the address code. From here, it will open up the customer contact address card, and from here you can make changes to the existing contact information. The next tab is the CRM tab, which will allow you to create tasks for yourself or other users based on your security. This can be done on the left here by clicking on the New button and then filling out the relevant information. On the right is the contact log, where we can log any contact to or from the customer. This can be done by just creating the, clicking the New button and filling out the relevant information. The next tab is the Customer Notes tab. From here, all customer notes are stored. We can create a new note by typing in this box and add to notes. It will timestamp as well as provide the user that created the note as well and the note itself. This is all controlled via security. If the setting is set to pop up the customer notes on customer card opening, the customer note will pop up once you enter the customer card. The next tab is the customer AR tab. This is where you can see AR information relating to this customer, including customer aging, their current balance, and any AR specific notes. To create a new AR note, you just select new note and fill out the relevant information. Next to the AR tab is the item history tab. This is where you can find the history of any item that the customer has purchased. You can determine which sales documents you want to search for, as well as set the months to show here. From here, you can click on the item specifically that they bought, or you can click on the sales document number that that item was purchased on. The next tab is the sales documents tab. This tab shows any sales documents created for this customer, including open, historical, and voided documents. Like the item history tab, we can set the months to show, as well as the different doc types that we want to see. Using the auto filter row, we can limit our results and then click on the blue sales document number link to open the appropriate document. The next tab is the user fields tab. This is where you can place any user fields that you created for the customer card. User fields can be placed under the user fields tab or up here in the customer header. There are a few different security options that we have to control the access to the customer card. These can be found by going to the admin menu and selecting security editor. The main security is called customer card. This box needs to be checked in order for the user to have access to the customer card. Clicking on the setting, you can then view all the appropriate sub settings. 
This allows you to determine whether or not the user can create a specific sales document type or whether or not they can see specific doc IDs. This is also where any scripting for the customer card will be placed. The next setting is customer overview. Make sure this box is checked. Clicking on the customer overview setting shows all the sub settings you have access to. This will determine whether or not the user can change various properties on the customer card, including the customer class, the customer's hold status, the customer's payment terms, price level, and so on. Thank you for watching this video. We have many more available on our website at www.salespad.net.